the mirror deck. We're going to pull from what lies beneath. We're going to pull from a couple of other desk, decks and then the empath or telepathy deck and the empath deck, which is a mystic forest deck. And then we're also going to pull from the two tarot decks. And I will clarify, this is the broken mirror deck. At the bottom of the deck is unemployed. It says broke, fired, or living beyond their means is the energy that's in this read. Opposites attract and cold shoulder. So somebody who has been giving you the cold shoulder let you realize that opposites do attract. There's lessons in the situation that you've been going through. And it says not your usual type. So whoever you're dealing with live beyond their means. And I don't necessarily think that they're unemployed. I think that they have an a entrepreneurial spirit. We're going to leave it at that. And so with that being said, this is opposite attracts for you because something about this energy you love and adore. And so sometimes we have to learn that that's not the end all be all when it comes to things that we need to um, really pay a close attention to that's really taking us out of our elements. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to start putting my card decks in there, which which is four. But I want you guys to kind of look and see at the, the bottom of the deck. And so this unemployed person um, is, you know, get, has been giving you the cold shoulder. And you're just like, you know, I'm I'm starting to make another card deck. One day I will release my card decks. But. Um, the energy that's coming out in this situation is, um, it says, so I'm writing stuff down. So just give me a minute. Um, I'm done. <laughs> You're supported. Uh, I've supported you this whole time. And it says you hang with bums. So these are, it says, why keep things, why keep trying to impress people that don't have shit. So this is that type of energy. And it says, you talk about me like you are perfect. Get a life. So you see the cards that's coming out. Why do you think it's okay to waste my time? I think you low-key hate me. Um, I sit back and watch this mess. So this is the energy that is coming from, like kind of like these card decks and the readings that have been coming out that I just, I know you guys need to hear it, but the problem is, is that we need to get through this situation, not just keep reliving it, but you have to, we have to be honest and truthful with, with our journey. And so when it comes to us, this being our season, happy birthday, you guys. This is the things that we're going to talk about. Now, you guys, I haven't said my spiel. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me and got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. So this energy here is like you low-key think this person is betraying you or has betrayed you. And it's like um, here it is at the bottom of the deck, fulfilling a fantasy. Yeah. They're fulfilling a fantasy based upon your emotions. So their unemployed energy is like, let's make you feel bad in order for us to be able to get through um, or me to be able, me or the person that you're dealing with to be able to get to feel better, if that makes sense. And that is why this energy comes out the way it does, because again, they're giving you the cold shoulders. You wouldn't normally talk to this type of person. This person in this energy is not in the same field as you. You don't really hang around the same crowd you don't really do a lot when it comes to dealing with um this type of energy or this type of person and so you're you're dumbing yourself down respectfully in order to deal with this person and it's like they make you feel like they not shit if you hear my grandbaby she's in her in her room playing so I'm watching her on my camera in there so that she can play oh wait let me scoot it over. She's she's painting and watching her her TV or whatever. But anyway, so, you know, that is the thing that you have to understand. So recording, it says announcement, expression, and revealing. So something is going to be revealed to you, something about you feeling like there was some type of betrayal or um, – you can't, you can't trust this energy. That's the reason why it's like you're fulfilling a fantasy. They're fulfilling a fantasy by them um, using your energy. You're fulfilling a fantasy because this is something that you wouldn't normally do. This is like the honeymoon stage until it's over. Like you accepted the bull. It could be years that you accepted it, but you're just like, I've done myself down long enough. It's time for me to get a life. Look at that. Rebirth. Yeah. Rebirth uh, and growth. Bottom of the deck is Meteor. So this is something that's going to happen extremely fast. It says fleeting loss extremely fast in the Meteor. This is something that is going to come out just all of a sudden. And you're going to be like, I can't believe I felt this way. So you're getting your rebirth, your growth on. And here it is. 
this person still unsure energy yeah is gonna keep coming back around so here's the thing you waited so long for this person to change that blowing kisses is here unconditional love giving giving and receiving fairness love and affection returned hasn't been returned and so paradise you've been again fulfilling your own fantasies and why this person you know you know that at one point when you decide to move forward this person is going to chase you look at that um so this all this stuff is going to happen extremely fast yeah because they've made you feel like you weren't enough that's at the underneath excuse me i'm turning around i need to put my yeah there you have it the way my desk is set up it's better but it's not because it just makes me have to everything is like stretched out now it's all against this wall and like the wall goes all the way down there there's a this is the um what is it called curtains yeah you can hear my grandma this is the curtains over here and it's another window here and then this is the wall in between it so it's pretty far apart so my desks stretch out to each wall which is really far but it just is hard for me to stretch over here and get my card so I'll kind of show you look at that so that's how it is like that and so yeah there you have it that's how it is it goes it stretched the same exact way from each opposite each side from one side to another and if you see my that's I have packages that I haven't opened up uh yet and so there it is um it's uncomfortable for me so I have to keep reaching over here and doing this and doing that but anyway you guys like share subscribe hit the bell notification to be notified when i post a new video red heart you made it through i know i already said it purple hearts are red heart you made it through purple hearts it resonates green heart you're working on a yellow heart you rock when we got my six meaning have my back happy birthday you guys i love you i love you i love you yesterday was my favorite auntie's birthday um my best friend's birthday was at the end of the month mine was uh towards the end of the month um and happy birthday to all of you guys i know i have been mia i am accomplishing things you guys should you know you know pat me on my back i don't need accolades but this has been hard out here all of these different energies and the sad part yeah it's a new chapter and it says you are complete and it's the spirit of life that's here you know the thing is is that being you know creating and that's the thing that's what we do as cancers supporting people it makes you yes yeah, the energetic pull it makes you pull your energy from everywhere pull energies from everywhere not from people but from everywhere in order for you to uplift and keep being yourself you know what i have let me think of this name i watched this podcast today with b simone um her podcast is um i can't think of what it is but she was on a podcast today um that was called nice and neat i think and that was my first time hearing from uh, or seeing this podcast with these guys on this podcast. And, you know, B. Simone is, I think she's a Pisces. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure she's a Pisces. But she was talking about this is her time to shine or to heal. And it's hard to heal when you're rooting everybody else on because you want to make sure that everybody else succeeds. But what happens when you don't succeed? And it makes you, you know, it pulls your energy back because you just want to be happy in the midst of everybody else being happy. And sometimes that makes you feel certain ways. But what she did say, water side energy, is that we don't want to feel fake. We don't want to put ourselves in energies to where we have to go into a place and feel like I'm putting on a show you don't want to put on a show so the best thing for us to do is to stay home you know her energy she's going and going and going I'm telling you I wouldn't be able to do that and so when it comes to a new chapter the spirit of life and you are complete you are complete because you're completing things and you're doing things that you know the normal people couldn't even do they wouldn't be even be able to keep up with and so when it comes to somebody blowing kisses playing games with you or you feeling like you have to live in this fake life this facade of a life because it's fulfilling a fantasy for someone else you know making somebody else feel better when do when does that stop you know when does that change so this is a telepathic oracle deck to see what energy comes out but yeah when does that stop and so when she said that it's it, it spoke volume to me because you keep putting all the matter what you go through you're putting all your energy in everybody else and it's like opposites do attract but you know allure and heart here it is yeah considering the situation carefully you have to consider everything carefully moving forward in this new birth and this new growth in this new era of your life in this new stage of your life and every year we 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 get older but every year we don't learn the lessons and so the universe keeps making us repeat those same lessons and it's an energetic pull so here in the energetic pull 
the type of energies that you deal with, whether you're unemployed, whether you um, deal with people that are living beyond their mean um, and fulfilling a fantasy for someone else because we see potential in what these other people don't. So we'll keep uplifting, uplifting, waiting for somebody to change and waiting for somebody, not necessarily change, to get better because we see and we try to support the things that we know has the potential to change. But again, it's an energetic pull. It says, and this is what we have to learn, and this is what she was kind of saying. It's crazy that this read came out like this. A true master knows that you create through your actions. Exactly. Do not hesitate when you feel the energy pulling you. It says follow it fearlessly and move worlds. And this is what you do. But in the process of that, there's codependent energies there because the opposites attract is always there and it's always going to make you feel like, oh, I can't leave this person because this person didn't have my energy. They didn't have me there. You know, things are, you know, you're going to, feel lost at some point, you're going to feel like you're chasing the situation, you're going to feel like, you know what, uh, it's been so long, I don't necessarily want, but this is a test, look at that, this is a test that you have to go through, and I'm going to read these cards here, so give me a second, your strengths and weaknesses are being tested, and that is what's happening to you, and that is where, yeah, opposites attract, again, attract shows its face, and these are the cards that are at the bottom of the deck, everything starts to happen extremely fast, and your energy is being pulled from left to right, left to right, and you question everything that's happening, you feel like this person is giving you the cold shoulder, but then you're at the same time, like, why are you playing games with me, because I sat there for however many years trying to support your habits, no matter whether good or bad or not, and here it is, you know, I don't get that same energy. And it's not like you're looking for it to be reciprocated, but what you are looking for is respect and somebody to understand that you are going to always be this person, but they always make you feel less than. And so um, when it said you are not enough in this card deck, that, that is like how you feel, the underlying cause of how you feel. But, you know, it's a new chapter now, new life, regrowth, rebirth, excuse me. Let me see what she's doing. She's watching, hold on, look, she's watching, uh, what is this called? Um, Tonka trucks, I don't know what they call, but anyway, um, yeah, so you are able to do that. So it says a new chapter, when things seem to be falling apart, be, be aware that things may be coming together in new ways that uh, suits the next phase of your life even better. So this is what you have to understand, that the universe is sending things. Doors, one door will close, another one will open. Somebody will start to express the way they feel when they feel like um, you have gave your energy to something else, something else, someone else, or uh, just you are working and focusing on yourself. You're rebuilding your life based upon what you're doing because you realize that you are complete. And it says spirit of life. Remember, you are never alone. The spirit of life is with you. The world takes care of you. Allow yourself to rest in the realization and feel the lightness in you. So this is something that um, I experience all the time when it comes to, I already know I'm enough. Don't get me wrong. I'm not tooting my own horn, but beep, beep. I already know that I'm enough. But however, the situations that are put in your life make you question what to do next because these are other people's situations. They have nothing to do with what, like a boulder in the road for you. It becomes a boulder in the road for you because you constantly give your energy to others. And so when that happens, your heart, you start to feel your heart beat faster as you get closer. When you get closer to moving into this new light, this situation always appears again and is that, is that the, you know, depending on what your belief is, is that the universe or is that the chaos and the, the uh, um, codependent energy or is that the, um, I want to say devil energy, but the energy that is telling you, hey, wait, you can't move f further than what we are moving. You got to stay in this void. You got to stay here. We don't want you to get any further. We don't want you to move any further. So that is where you start to be like, wait a minute, what's happening here? Let me just let the universe take control. Does that make sense? And so it says you are complete. You are not broken. Nothing is wrong with you. Don't, don't spend your time fixing problems. Excuse me. Don't spend your life fixing problems. Dwell in the beauty of your being. You are enough now and always. So this is where you have to be in that cocky spirit to understand you're going to constantly create, get the, I mean, not create, you're going to constantly 
pull in the negative toxic energies. But these are the tests that get you through. Now, will you pass this test this lifetime or will it be next lifetime? But the things are is that your emotions are going to always get the best of you when it comes to you questioning are you enough and why. You cannot question the universe when it comes. I'm looking at another card deck. So I have cards lined up on all on this side. I got them under my desk and I got them over this way to this wall. I got three TV. <laughs> I just got a lot because I do my, my work. This is my computer, one of my computer screens. I got another computer screen and then I have my monitor here, but which this needs to be switched to this one. And my son is not helping me. So I don't feel like going back through this here, all my chaos. And I don't know where my sign is that I'm not messy. I'm just, uh, I'm not, I forget what it, what, it's, what it says. But anyway, so your emotions are like you questioning everything. You're questioning the universe right now. When I get to this point, see, this divine masculine is going to throw a loophole or, or somebody with heavy masculine energy, shall I say, is going to throw a loophole in your plans because it's got, they're going to come and try to pop the question because they realize they're losing you. And But this is the karmic ties that you have to go through. These are the tests that you're going to have to say, I thought this was a, never mind, but it's a knife. Eh, there you go. So um, anyway, that is something that you're going to have to deal with and constantly deal with until you realize that this energy doesn't make you happy, if that makes sense. And so you have to be the one to say, I'm, I'm complete without this. I have to learn these things first to know that I'm complete without this. And so when it comes to the opposites attract, yeah, this person feels like they're losing you or this situation is losing you. This could be a job, could be anything, but it's going to say, hey, if you stay a little bit longer, because we real we heard that you were looking for employment. We heard you were doing this. We heard you were doing that. But if you stay a little bit longer, and let's pull if this is about a job. But if you stay a little bit longer, we'll, we'll give you a bonus. You know what I mean? So this, I forget what the name of this is called. Let me see. Um, this is mo money manifestation. So if you stay a little bit long longer, we'll give you this or we'll give you that. And so you're just like, no, I got to go. And then you feel bad because it's like, okay, I've been here for this amount of time. We're going to pull tarot to see if the years come out, pinnacles, energy. But, you know, I've been here this time. I've given this energy to this situation. But, um, well, they're offering me something else. But that's the that's the karmic ties that you have to having codependent energies and fear and be, having fear of being abandoned. Always trying to help and complete and make things better you know healer yeah your energy you have to do the work inner work is here it says don't be afraid to prioritize your prioritize your personal growth and spiritual development health is and wellness are necessary to enjoy an abundant life so that is when you learn the test that's happening you're going to be successful you just have to understand excuse me you just have to understand what it takes to be successful damn i didn't know all these cards came out um love freedom freedom of time now this energy here is you not allowing someone to get the best of you this is you being free of judgment free of blame free of everything because you've healed but this is always in regards to love because the love is the thing that will always keep you trapped the love of your job the love of the money love of a partnership a situationship love of a friendship trying to see the benefit and why you've been there for so long which keeps you trapped and so these cards, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull over, but let me read these here. Um, it says love. It says love is the greatest of success successes on the path to prosperity. Who can fulfill, who can fully, full, excuse me, who can fully experience abundance without it? So this is what causes you to push harder and harder for a person, place, thing, or a situation is the love of the situation. But the freedom of time says the freedom to do whatever you want with your time is one of the ultimate benchmarks of an abundant life. You are the master of your schedule. So when you learn this, you will not let a job, a person, or anything stop you from accomplishing anything. You will take your time. You will live in the present moment and you will heal and understand that it takes inner work in order to get to that. So don't be afraid to prioritize yourself based upon the karmic ties or the things. Because I always tell people in a job, you know what they were going to do? They will fire you the first chance that they have to. They're not going to fight for you. They're not going to fight for you. So always have 
a plan to or work on yourself or your stuff that doesn't feel like work. Let me tell you what I had to do was put all of the things that I've learned over the years into a position that I could flourish in. And my healing experience and me doing the inner work is me sitting still and letting the universe guide me. So the questions are not from man. It's from the universe. So nobody can pop this question and feel like and make me feel like, oh, shoot, I'm going to stop right here. This is not going to stop my life. This is only going to increase it. It's only going to bring more to it. And if it doesn't, then it's just as karmic as the rest of the shit that I go through, you know? So again, if somebody can't express themselves, if somebody can't make these announcements and it's just done behind the dark or are afraid to get people to understand, then your time is being wasted. That's why there's a freedom of time. The inner work is done. The karmic times it ties are there. It says you are able to provide great comfort and support to those who are on a healing journey, whether their pain is physical, emotional, or spiritual. But this could be heavy. Again, this can be heavy you, with that, with you not knowing if this if if you with you not doing the inner work. The energetic shifts will cause you to question a lot. And so promotions, yes, laziness, yeah, this is this is depression, entitlement, this is ego, author, this is you creating things, being in denial, not really accepting what you already see in front of you, travel, um, empowerment, and advocate. You're an advocate for the people who don't want to do the work, who wants to keep coming and taking your energy. That's how I see that. I guess I'll go ahead and read the cards, but this is how I see that to the people who keep wanting to take your energy away from you, who keep pulling your energy back every time you decide to start something new, who keeps distracting you with stuff like this. You cannot let this distract you in the time in your freedom of time. So it's a Venn diagram. If you guys know what a Venn diagram is, the Venn diagram is like two circles. And in the middle of the circles, this much, this much is overlapped with what you should do as a cohesive unit the rest of the things one is for you and one is for that person if this part right here doesn't cause you to grow then these parts will never matter you have to have this part figured out those little small things so promotions elevate earnings come hand in hand with high heightened responsibilities so you're elevating your life there is a promotion in your life that's going to happen and it's going to happen soon, but if you're lazy, don't do the work, or if you're dealing with people that are lazy, your dreams are so much bigger than your efforts to achieve them. And it says, if you want to accomplish great things, you'll have to try harder. So this could be you stop looking at these energies and just say, you know what? I cannot control how this person feels or what this person, place, thing, or situation is doing. They feel entitled, and therefore... It says, why do you believe that you deserve benefits and privileges that you haven't earned or worked for? So the laziness is saying that, do you feel entitled because you're helping everybody else and you feel like the universe? And this is, this is like, I feel this way sometimes. I'm being honest. This is, this is, could be, you know, like for you to win, you got to do the work. King of Pentacles energy. You cannot be afraid not to do the work not to take the risk, uh, Knight of Pentacles energy, to work hard for these opportunities to happen. Sometimes I tell you, I sit down and I wait for the universe to give me an answer, but that doesn't mean I do the work. I just go from one thing to another to avoid that one thing. When it comes back and hits you real hard, anyway it goes. So you have to be the author of your success. You cannot allow anybody to take away your freedom of time, energy, experience, and and, and your energy, did I say energy already? I think I did, but you cannot do that. Or maybe this is your energy, the unemployed, you know, because not, not putting it out there, not saying that you're going to be fired, but that energy of not really trying to do the work, but you know, so opposites attract. This person steals your energy and yet you let you allow them to, because you, when they steal your energy, that's what I mean by that. Not just unemployed, uh, quote unquote unemployed. They steal your energy and you're just like, I've helped this person. I'm waiting on this person to kind of see my, see my, see the beauty in me. And it's like, no, you have to see the beauty in yourself. 
the author. Your words will have a great impact on those who read them. So this could be you writing your own story. You telling people, at one point I felt this way, but now I got my energy back. Do you ever see, now that everything is based on the internet, you see these people who are millionaires telling you that, oh, I wrote this book, I'm doing this, and I'm doing that, but they don't tell you about the struggle and pain that you mentally go through um, in order for you to get there. And so being in denial is one thing. Are you refusing to face the reality about some aspect of your financial life or your regular life? So financial life could be one thing because, again, you could be in denial and, and understand that you might not get to this point of you even – having a new chapter because you're still stuck on this energy so that's where you have to understand you have to get up get out and get something travel right embarking and that's outcast if you people don't know depending on your age embarking on a journey could be a path to wealth as abundant opportunities await you in the world so you got to get up get out and get something and get out of this funk wake up get up you know understand that you are enough understand that you can have whatever you like you can have whatever you like you know and empowerment are you ready to fully step into your power and accept all the responsibilities that come with it? Some of these things can be you being afraid to live this, your best life. I'm living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, And that's the whole thing. You hear those songs that I just sung? Get up, get out, and get something. You know, um, you know, living my best life. You know what I'm saying? Like, You can have whatever you like, but... You have to be an advocate for yourself. That's how I see this and understand for yourself, your time and your energy and when it comes to your heart. You know what I mean? And this is this is a good thing. An advocate. It's advocate. It says you will find so much fulfillment in working for a charitable cause, doing things for people, not just being in the Queen of Pentacles era of a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life, protect and care for them no matter what. Not that energy, that no matter what family no for the people who respect you and your time and your energy but that's about traveling that's about not traveling to a different city it's about getting out there and finding people who want to hear your information do you ever see that people who make it say that they had I was just telling my son I schooled my son about Jay-Z all day every day because that was the era that I grew up in you know I was graduate a little bit after graduation you know, I'm giving my age, but you know, that was that, that whole thing. And so here it is. Now people are saying, depending on where you're from, you know, I didn't grow up with them around them, but I seen the stories that I heard, you know, that's with everybody, you know, there's always a success story that you don't know everything about. But my point is, is that you got to separate yourself, no matter what it is, we take information, bits and pieces, being in the law field, understanding that you have to, and I'm, I'm watching all of these cases that's going on. And it's like, at some point, I'm scared. Like, what the heck is happening in the universe right now? Why is all the legal aspects or the law or the, the counties or whatever really kind of screwing up the world right now? They're really making ego-based decisions. And so it's like, do I want to get into this field like that? Because, again, I'm not starting, o I'm not starting over. I'm continuing to do something that I've always done, contracts. And so this is something that scares me because now I'm like, what type of law do I want to go into? Because I've been in real estate. I do contract. I do all types of things, but I never would want to go into criminal if they treat you like criminals, but they're treating you like this, whether it's the, you know, and this is my opinion personally, but they're tr the, the, the lawyers, which they always said, the, the defense, um, the defense attorneys, are, are working hard because the state attorneys are criminals. They're doing criminal-like type things. And so that's a scary thing when it comes to why, you know, why, 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 why do you want to pay all this money to go into a situation? But you have to help in certain situations. So that's kind of how I see that. And um, that was just my perspective of, things like that. So when you're advocating, this is why people decide to go and vote. And even though you think your voice doesn't matter, it does, you know, and, and I would rather, I'm going to say this. No, I'm not going to say I would rather vote locally, not just for the president, vote locally, because those are the ones that we vote into office and things like that. And we let things pass. Look at all of these laws, look at the laws of 
um, I think it's uh, 2025 is the name of the bill that's about to be passed or is look at that. Look at those things that will just by you not using your voice. Okay. Back to, back to tarot. Anyway. So my thing is, is that you have to advocate for yourself. You have to be the advocate. So it says you will find so much fulfillment in working for charitable causes. I say that if you do things and everybody says is if you do something that you love is not considered a job. So if you're being if you're questioning the type of way that uh, the way that these people are treating you or how you feel because of somebody is, you know, not respecting your time work, this could be work, this could be everything. But if you are um, are you, if you're not understanding this, this situation or how you feel, then this will always be considered that you're just living a mundane life or you're not fulfilling your goals that you should possibly do. So I'm going to pull energy from tarot to see what comes out. But first, you know what? I'm going to pull this. This is more of a feminine type energy. Um, what is this called? Uh, unfolding a path. This is going on a path to you know success or love or business and then i'll clarify with these but yeah you just have to understand that these are the situations that keep us stagnant and we we and and when when i was talking about be simone my card fell yep when i was talking about be simone the card that comes out is the nine of wands right um excuse me the nine of cups energy so you can have whatever you like but when i was talking about be simone she was saying that you know she's able to work but she she feels horrible because she feels like not that she's not enough i forget exactly how she said but i think it was nice and neat podcast if you guys want to check it out but it was really good to hear an authentic answer yeah when it comes to how to communicate or how you communicate with yourself eight of wands energy how how you but being unsure on how to walk away or how to not necessarily walk away but how to kind of um, make decisions or slow down one of the two. And this is the unsure energy about being successful. You know, like we can be successful, but how do we feel when the doors close? You know, or how do we communicate with our, with ourselves and the card comes out the three of cups when it comes to dealing with other people, you see what I'm saying? How do, how do we do that? How do we, how do we do that when it comes to being grateful for friendships? Because again, these are the main pe main things that keep you stagnant is the friends, family, and energies. And so you have to be the one to say, okay, you know what? I have to learn how to be a mutual party when it comes to how I work with people. And not only that, sun energy, my growth. Hey, pretty. Um, my growth. Hold on, you guys. Let me hear what she has to say. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, I'm not sorry. But anyway, three of pentacles energy. So we have threes out here on the board. My point is, is that when it comes to you dealing with certain situations, you have to know that your creative creativity and your feelings when it comes to your growth is the biggest thing and how you deal with your emotions of either walking away or staying stagnant because you're, you know, it's like um, you don't want to... Yeah, it's so many worry and so many things about, oh, here it is. Um, doo -doo -doo, where is that? Oh, the, the fear of abandonment is the chaser energy. Your, your fears of that. And so when it comes to being unsure about your success, six of wands energy. No, you cannot buy anything. When it comes to your six of wands energy, you have to understand that you are the one who, yeah, makes yourself have anxiety because of your choices that you make to not really deal with the situations of you walking away and following your heart, Knight of Cups energy. So Knight of Cups energy says, always follow your heart. It'll never lead you astray because it knows things the mind can't explain. And the Ten of Wands energy is at the bottom of the deck. This becomes your burdens. This becomes your burden. And it's okay. You just got to learn the things that the things that keep you stagnant and the key things that hold you back, if that makes sense. And so that's how I see that energy. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, pull this out here like this. But, yeah, that's the things that keep you stagnant. And it makes you feel like you're lazy. But I believe, if you ask me, from a cancer to another cancer, that that is, you know, you feeling lazy is a way that you're a, you, you go into hermit mode and not really want to deal with things and not really want to do things because you have to give your muster up enough energy to be able to deal with 
the anxiety that you're going to go through after you make a decision. That's when you have to make a decision to, you know, you want to make a head, a heart over head decision, but you have to make head over heart decisions. And a lot of that comes with you making a decision to walk away. What is she doing in there? Oh, she's painting stuff. Yeah, so the nine of, nine of Cups energy going after your rewards, and I made sure my cards. Oh, no, look. I'm glad I say something because I put them in the reverse on accident. But the nine, of wand, the nine of Cups energy is you having your rewards, you having your cake and eating it too, but you have to understand how to get to that point. These are steps. It's levels to the shit. You know what I mean? Like, And these are the steps that you have to take in order for you to be satisfied and have emotional stability. To get to the Nine of Cups energy, you got to be, oh, here it is. It came out. You got it. Yeah, you have to trust in yourself and trust in your decisions to a sword's energy. You have to trust in your decisions that, oh, look, wait, no, that way. Okay. Yeah, the Eight of uh, Wands energy is what we're clarifying. Being unsure of how to feel, yeah, when it comes to following your heart. Yeah, these are the things. You have to follow your heart. And now at this point, your heart makes you feel like you're just living a fantasy. Like it's just, you know, it's pulling your energy. It's karmic. It's things like that. So when it comes to the three of cups energy, being grateful, you know, or, or trying to be grateful for the situations. Yeah, the will of fortune. You get to a point to where you have to understand that you're just rolling with the flow. Just and 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 being grateful for every situation and everything without even standing your ground. You're just like the ebb and flows of life. It says, as the will turns, um, what is that way? I, I'm trying to read it. Ages come and go, fortunes rise and fall, and people are born and die. Embrace the constant ebb and flows of life. And this is what you have to understand how to do this without feeling and without trusting in your intuition and your inner self and also understand that doing the inner work comes with a lot of burdens because you have to be able to understand why you feel the way that you feel. And that is where the growth energy comes in. The sun energy comes out because we're clarifying the sun. You know, that's where it comes out because here it is. You feel like people playing games with you, blowing kisses at you, you know, making you feel this way, making you feel that way. And all you're trying to do is grow and to uh, motivate the people. But again, you have to understand when the Six of Pentacles comes out, it hasn't come out. But when when the Pentacles come out, three years you've been trying to make decisions to uh, get to a point. Yeah, see, Nine of Pentacles. To have, again, nine years, Nine of Pentacles, the Nines are out here. The Nines are basically uh, attainment, you know. And, and so the Nine of Pentacles being here, it just lets you know that in order for you to have financial independence, and self-sufficiency and all this luxury and things that are going to abundantly come to you without feeling bad about it, you have to have emotional stability. And that's where the Nine of Cups comes with your questioning. You have to have emotional stability and, and, and be satisfied with the luxuries that are going to come and also understanding that what it takes to get to that point. Three of Pentacles energy, three years, nine years, close to nine years, it's taking you to get to this point to where you don't feel guilty about walking away and about how, um, you know, your heart, how you love or how you do things. Does that make sense? And that includes walking away, but that's emotional stability that you have to have. And also you understanding that, you know, the financial independence is not going to be have you in the Queen of Pentacles energy of, of giving and keep dealing with the same people who's giving you the cold shoulders who are opposite of what you love. So you can tell somebody, um, I want to do this. I want to, you know, build a tree house. And they look at you like, <laughs> yes, cancer is crazy. And you're like, but this would make me happy. But there's no support behind this thing that you give all your support to. So it causes you to get into this funk to where you're lazy, you don't want to go after the things that you want, and you're constantly, constantly going through the ebb and flows of life and constantly supporting people, the Three of Pentacles energy, and not working as a team. So that's where it comes out at, to, 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 have, uh, to have that uh, support. Yeah, you got to get out of limbo. Three of Pentacles energy. The Three of Pentacles energy is you, again, working as a team, and it's collaborating, but you're learning from the people that you work with. And you're learning the type of people that keep you in limbo. Hangman energy. Hangman says, if I can find it. 
I might not be able to find it because I can't really see from here. It's like way across uh, over there, like up, whatever. But the hangman energy says, eh, let's see if I can. I can normally remember these when I read the first letter. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Where is the hangman? The hangman energy. And I love these quotes. So that's the reason why. Oh, uh, when it feels like there's nothing else you can do, let go of your resistance. Embrace the state of pause. Stop everything, right? And try to see things from a new light. You've done that. And now here it is. You see and realize that it's causing you to doubt your success. You know, six of wands energy. It's causing you to doubt your success. So you're going to be victorious. You could be all of these other things and, and be recognized, public, have public recognition, but it'll never be from these people. Oh, I think I was starting to say something at one point where I was saying that um, the people that you want, your family, if, oh, I was saying about the successful people, when you see them tell all their stories and stuff, I don't even think I'll continue. When you see them tell their stories about how they were successful, they never tell you that they had support from their family. And I think that's when I went to go back and talk about Jay-Z. You know, those people aren't going to support you the way that you want them to. Every entrepreneur that I talk to in regards to business and things like that, I'm like, don't expect your family to drop everything and to support you. They're going to go to, th if you're selling something, if you're doing here, they're going to go to Target. They're going to go to um, who is somebody who has a show on reality series that does hair up. Shaquina, Shaquana, they're going to go to her and pass you right over when you would probably give them a, a sister discount or whatever it is, but they're going to go to her because everybody knows about her, but they're not going to go to and help you do anything until they see you in the target level or they see you in love and hip hop or doing these types of things when you can probably do better, but no, and no, no dig to Shaquana. Shaquana. I think that's how I say her name. But I'm just saying that that's the energy that happens when you start to branch out and do something different. There's not going to be those support. You have to be the inner, do the inner work and support yourself, if that makes sense. So the Six of Wands energy coming unsure. Yeah, it comes with the Queen of Pentacles, like I said. So the Queen of Pentacles being here. But yeah, the Five of Swords, ego, energy, ego, an unwinnable situation. This is going to be an unwinnable situation until you have the courage to be able to really see what you're worth your worth queen of pentacles energy like i said a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life protect and care for them no matter what that no matter what will cause you stagnation until you learn that the queen of pentacles has to be somebody who is nurturing but practical and also can provide financial stability for other people but know why she has to he or she has to pull that energy back when it comes to certain situations that they learned from in the past and nine times out of 10, it's harder to do when this comes to your family. And that's what causes the anxiety makes sense. So the nine of swords energy coming out when it comes to, yeah, family, because again, you have to follow your heart, but the following your heart and you having, you know, anxiety in regards to the heart things, you're going to have to, you're going to have to walk away from certain situations and that's becoming what the beauty energy, the empress, seeing the beauty in yourself and also understanding that you are that you have the power to create any and everything and you're not holding the wealth over your head. But you realize that this is the only reason why people come and pull your energy is because either financially, physically, mentally or emotionally, they need your help. And that is where you have to see what's causing you anxiety. And that's where you have to be able to create and follow your heart but also walk away from those types of energies. So the Knight of Cups energy is here, which is clarified by the lover's energy, doing what makes your heart happy. If this is a situation, and here it is, I can't tell you how not to love on your family, friends, or whatever who has been in your life for a long time. I can't tell you that. That's something that you have to learn. Hermit, uh, excuse me, higher friend energy, unlearn to relearn. That's that type of energy that you have to unlearn to relearn, but also realize that the lover's energy can be toxic as well. Doing what makes your heart happy, the lover's energy. The lover's energy could, could be like you following your heart again twice. So it comes out with saying, okay, well, Phoenix, cancer, I can't, I can't tell cancer not to keep 
um, holding on to the burdens or or being around the burdens because the burdens are can be anything from family, friends, it could be kids, it could be anything. I can't tell you to stop, but I can tell you to learn to pull back your energy, four of pentacles energy or four swords energy to pull back your energy. You know, you know what I mean? Because the fours are like stability. Learn to gain stability mentally, physically, emotionally. You know, those are your hearts. That's the swords, you know, the cups energies, which are like your heart, the swords, you know, making these decisions to do that when it comes to following your heart. This is in love. This is, but you have to know when enough is enough. You got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. The six of swords energy is here. You got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them because, again, you have to be the one to make these types of decisions. And that is the hardest decision ever. And that comes with, yeah, I said the hardest decision ever. Walking away from the things that no longer serve you. Six of cups energy, but you're unsure and until you get to a point to realize that this is an unsure energy. Eight of cups energy is walking away, leaving things behind. Or this is fear of losing back to where you started, the chaser energy. Fear of abandonment, avoidance, fear of change, fear of loss. Being fearful of walking away because you're afraid that, again, anxiety, the burdens that are around you. And my baby said today, she was reading my cup and she can read you guys. Look at how that came out. Queen of Wands, having confidence and pulling your energy back. Four of, uh, four of Pentacles is what I told you earlier, right? Just right here at this point. In the Four of Pentacles energy, um, my baby, my princess told me, she said, she was reading my cards, and she says, assets, not a, what did she say? Not a, she didn't say liability. She said, I forget what she said. Well, I'm going to ask her. Hold on one second. Let me tell her to come in here. Hold on. I'm calling her in here. I think she said not liberty. Assets, not liberty is what she said. And I said, what are you saying? And she said, assets, not liberty. And I said, um, what do you mean? What are you, what are you saying? You know, what are you saying? And she was like, assets, not liberty. But, you know, these cards weren't here. She was reading my cup. And I said, where do you see that at? Show me where you see that at. And she was like, right here. I said, no, liability. And I explained to her what a liability is. She's only five. But I explained to her. She plays t-ball, and I said, that's like you playing t-ball. If you got to kick, if you got to hit the ball, you got to run to the bases, and you got to go get the ball, where is your team? And she was like, I said, who's the asset and who's the liability? And she said, oh, I'm the asset. And I was like, yeah, so that's not a team. That's, that's my pretty playing by herself. Those are the burdens that you have to understand on why you have to make those decisions to – Pull your energy back and be stabi have stability for yourself. And the queen of wands is have the confidence to understand and not be unsure about walking away or the stability that this is going to cause you to know that it's going to free up some emotional space, some emotional space, because you did everything that you could do. So the four of pinnacles in the upright is pulling your energy back, right? The four of pinnacles is saving, it's controlling, it's, it, you know, it's, it, it's, it's security for yourself. Or it's going to be you being unsure if these people are greedy, if you're overspending, or if there is some type of self-protection that needs to happen. That's where you're unsure at until Four of Pentacles, we're going to clarify. Um, because, again, Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups, walking away, you're still unsure, even though you have the confidence in everything that you need. Look at these cards come out like this. Yeah, this is kind of unsure still, but the bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. This is in regards to love. This is in regards to love because that's the reason why it comes out this way. The burdens of everything that you've been through is why you're so afraid to let that one piece go. It looks at it like I look at it like this. You can let friends go, but when it comes to, or not friends, uh, jobs and certain things away. But when it comes to love, this is what's your questioning on how you can remove your energy with letting go and not worrying about shoulda, woulda, coulda. But that's the decisions, two of pentacles that you have to make. Two years, four years, six years, and then we have nine years. You've been six, seven years. Seven years you're at almost or at the seventh year that you're close to having your cake and eating it too financially. But you're still worried about, I thought the three of pentacles was out here. Did I calculate? Mm. 
Oh, they are. They're right here. Yeah, so you're at this ninth year. Well, no, it's right somewhere around here. You're at, I think, clo oh, here it is, right here, Three of Pentacles. You're close to this ninth year. So we have four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, the ninth year of making this decision. And this is for you to have stability. Hey, pretty, I wanted to ask you a question. What did you say this word was on the cup earlier? Do you remember? What was it? Was it liberty or liability? Well, we, I told liability. you. Liability. I said it was liability, but what did you call it? Liberty. Yeah, you did call it liberty. Okay, I was just explaining. I'll be right in there in a minute. Go clean your mess up. No, no, no. No, go clean your mess up. Just one color. And no more. No more. No more out, outside of your desk, okay? Sorry, you guys. But the thing is, is that, uh, tell them yeah. the light. Shh, you're in the ear. Okay, go. Go, go, go. Don't open anymore. So, uh, yeah, the thing is, is that you have to have the stability that you need when it comes to making head over heart decisions. The emperor energy is to be able to create the life that you want without the love that you might not have or the job that you might not have or the belief that you know or or the or the insp or the support that you might not have you have to be able to wasn't this over here the moon energy wasn't that right here you have to be able to see something different and it comes with yeah the pinnacles energy this is the the six of pinnacles how you give to a situation six of pinnacles energy is you know once you get to that that energy of the four pinnacles pulling your energy back the six of pinnacles just lets you know that hey the way that you give, your generosity, the way you share, all of these things, you ha you got to pull your energy back and have and create the things that you want. And the judgment energy, that's the realization that is going to have to take for you to get to a, p a place where you're trusting two of swords energy. I mean, two of swords is right here, trusting and the high priestess and your intuition. High priestess energy is also listening to your instincts. Again, trusting your intuition, listen to your instincts. But this all comes with, the um, Eight of Wands energy. Did the Eight of Wands? Oh, yeah, the Eight of Wands came out here twice. I was going to say, is the Eight of Wands here? This is the way that you communicate, the way that you are able to make quick decisions and move forward from things that you are unsure about. Things that you're unsure about, moon energy, if that makes sense. Things that you're unsure about, but that comes with love in that instance. So since that's here, we already pulled from a finance deck. We're going to pull from Twin Flame. Um, what is it? Twin Flame, Karmic Partner, or I want to say Soulmate Energy. Uh, yeah, uh, that's what this card deck is. But when it comes to love, what is it that Cancer is hesitant about? Yeah, the instinct part. And it says small changes. Yes. And the small changes says no relationship is perfect. And when things go awry, and they will, don't be so quick to think your relationship is over. You are learning and growing. And that is where you have to understand at this state, at this state, the 5D, the fifth dimension, you're living in this situation in the fifth dimension until somebody really sees your worth. And it says the divine masculine energy responding because we have divine masculine, right? Divine masculine energy is responding to the divine feminine energy and carrying out intuitive messages, soul level connections. This is the small changes you have to make when it comes to the 5D, the soul level connections. And that is, oh wait, this was underneath there, the, uh, the hidden feelings. They could be in denial or trying to control the situation by suppressing their feelings until they release the need to control these feelings will build. And so again, they have to release the need to control and you're gonna live with this person in the 5D or this situation in a 5D, if this has nothing to do, the energy is what's pulling you back. And so you have to learn to release and let go like a meteor, meteor something fast, something happening. You got to let it go and let it fly, you know, and that's just how I see that energy. And it's, it's easier said than done, but sometimes we have to do the things that we don't feel we want to do in order for us to move forward. And so that's how I see that energy. And I think this is a really good read that we just went through. It's been almost an hour. I haven't did an hour reading in a long time, but I've been away. This is a reading that somebody needs to understand. Those opposites attract the cold shoulders. That is why you are afraid to walk away 
completely because you know and you see potential in a certain situation. But the fear of abandonment and the codependency is something that you have to work on for yourself, if that makes sense. Let's go ahead and pull from the crystal deck. And then we're going to pull from the four agreements. If you guys want to know my perspective, it'll be up at the top. The um, Yeah, take action on your ideas. Always do your best. You've done your best in this situation, which is the four agreements. And the blue appetite, throat, and, and third eye chakra. Yeah, trusting in your intuition and speaking your mind and saying what you want. Um, it says take action on your ideas. Doing your best means to take action. You can have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon the, an idea, there will be no manifestation, no results, and no rewards. So this is why the universe is saying, hey, your, <clears throat> excuse me, your life will change when you stop worrying and trusting your intuition. And that's where you are now. Spiritual guidance, self-expression, and clarity. This is the clarity that you need. I have a window behind me way back here, but it's, it's given a, uh, what is it called? Uh, 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 whatever it's called. Uh, the blue appetite. I see clearly and express myself with ease. You're not going to let anything hold you back. And the NSYNC, oh, I don't think I read this one. NSYNC is here. It says, you just, it says, you just get each other. Perhaps you finish each other's sentences or know what they are thinking. This connection feels effortless. And that's why you don't give up on this because you guys have something. But this something is not enough. You have to let them get out of their feelings. Hold on. You hear her beats. And get out of the, and stop loving you in the 5D and start loving you in the, in the, in the, 3d but this might be too late only you know so let's go ahead and let this old energy go her beard beads are clicking um i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys